The next element to access the meaning of the term is setting. Talking about setting, actually we, we will talk about place and time. And based on this poetry for the place, we can uh, answer America. And how do we know? We know it from line one, stanza one. When um, the poet says, uh, I to sing America. So it means that the place of this uh, poetry is um, probably in America. And then uh, talking about place, actually there is another uh, description, namely in the kitchen. And we can find it in line 3, this one, stanza 2, and also Line 13 uh, in stanza 3. Beside place, actually, we have to talk about time as well. Because, you know, we are talking about setting. So, for the time, uh, the answer is the day. And how do we know? Uh, because... We know this from the word tomorrow in line 8, stanza 3. And why, why can we assume the time is today, not tomorrow? Because tomorrow is another description of the condition of this poetry. So the condition of this poetry is actually today. And today refers to the time when this poetry was written in about 2002. And this information is based on the note from poetryfoundation.org. Okay, so saya ulang penjelasannya dalam bahasa Indonesia. Uh, ketika ngomongin setting, maka kita akan ngomongin tentang time and space atau tempat dan waktu. Mengenai tempat, kita jawabannya itu adalah Amerika. Taunya dari mana? Itu dari line pertama, stanza pertama. Juga ada kata lain yaitu in the kitchen. Itu taunya dari mana? Dari line ketiga, stanza kedua, juga di line tiga belas. Stanza ke tiga. Dan ngomongin time, jawaban dari time itu adalah today. Kenapa today? Padahal yang tertulis di sini adalah tomorrow. Yang tertulis di line 8, stanza 3. Karena uh, ketika menyebutkan, ketika si poet menyebutkan tomorrow, I'll be at the table. Berarti dia kan lagi ngomongnya hari ini ya. So, uh, maka Waktunya adalah today. Dan today-nya itu kapan? Today-nya itu diprediksi pada tahun 2002. Kenapa bisa asumsinya ke 2002? Ya, karena pada tahun inilah uh, puisi ini uh, di, di apa namanya ditulis gitu. Uh, itu yang berkaitan dengan setting. And the next one is the next out The next element to access the poetry is imagery. Imagery itu berkaitan dengan uh, lima panca indera kita, yaitu panca indera penglihatan atau disebut sight, panca indera pendengaran disebut sound, panca indera taste disebut uh, panca indera taste itu kerasa oleh lidah, panca indera Perasa juga, tapi oleh kulit yang disebut touch dan panca indera pem, pem, pembau ya, penciuman atau disebut smell. So, the question is, how does the poet arouse the reader's five senses? Such as sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. The answer is this one. 
please take a look at the underlined uh, line. They'll see how beautiful I am. They'll see. Nah, because of the word see, karena ada kata see, so it means that the imagery involved is sight. Karena ada kata see, see itu kan artinya melihat, maka panca indera yang dilibatkan itu adalah sight. Otomatis imagery-nya adalah sight.